My name's Jude Williams and I'm 62 years old. Well, my first casual job was um, as a waitress in a cafe when I was about 14, I think, uh, which sounds a bit illegal now, but I think it was okay in those days. Um, and, but my first proper job was working for the Nature Conservancy Council on um, uh, looking at whether the uh, Somerset levels should be drained further. But it was quite political because the farmers wanted it, but the Nature Conservancy didn't because they were worried about the rare plants and animals. I worked uh, for about nine years with an organisation called Pensioners Link in the voluntary sector. So that was rather co collective teams working in collective ways. We didn't have bosses in the same way. We had a central office, but we didn't have bosses. That was amazing work and it introduced me to the a, a really interesting world of, of voluntary sector, community work, fundraising, managing your own business. It was very, very good grounding for me. And then I went into the health service and was a director in East London for the health authority, Elcha, East London City Health Authority, for again about eight or nine years. Um, and then I went into national positions, so I was head of public health for the Health Care Commission. I worked in the Department of Health at senior levels in public health, teenage pregnancy, uh, sexual health, drugs and um, I worked at ODPM which is now CLG which is the Office of Deputy Prime Minister on uh, Neighbourhood Renewal and, um, and then more recently I was Deputy of the Health Inequalities National Support Team. My current job is that I'm an independent uh, consultant so I work freelance um, and the areas that I'm involved with are within at the moment are the Home Office working on ending gang and youth violence and looking at it from a health sector point of view. And I work with various health and wellbeing boards and I'm a non-executive director of the Homerton Hospital University Trust. I've been working independently for three years. The most rewarding part of my job is when I feel that I've made an impact. So when something's changed as a result of what I've done. When I was Head of Public Health for the Health Care Commission, I introduced standards for public health for all the health organisations in England, uh, public health standards, and I think that made a real step change in terms of both hospitals and primary care trusts um, take, make, taking public health seriously and actually really um, going for it. <laughs> the most challenging part of my job is it varies according to what the, the job is, but I would say that mostly it's, it's to do with human relations, making sure those work properly. The main changes in the uh, employment market, I think uh, people don't have a career for life now, they get, have a mixture of careers. And in fact, I've had a, a mixture of careers, but that was quite unusual for my, for, um, my age, if you know what I mean. Uh, most people, when I was young, went into a profession and stayed there but I had a very mixed profession all the way through. And I think that's really accepted now, and if people don't do that, they're rather strange, um, or seen as rather strange. Um, and also the t whole technology has changed things enormously. I have embraced technology since I've uh, turned 50. I wouldn't say I was that brilliant, but I'm, I learn and I keep learning. Since I've turned 50, um, my work pattern really hasn't changed from when I was 50. My work pattern changed when I was 60. And that's or was 59 when I uh, left full-time employment and took up becoming independent. The first year I worked probably more hours, but the second and third years I've worked less, and that's been quite deliberate because I've um, looked after my grandchildren quite a lot. But no, I haven't faced any discrimination in, in the market since I've turned 50. However, I think there is some self-imposed um, sort of attitude that I have, which I impose on myself since I've been 60. So I don't see myself as m so marketable on very high-profile national jobs. But I think that's combined with me wanting to withdraw from them.
So it's a quite a complex issue, actually. I think it might be difficult to get a job that was part-time, and that's the only job I would want. It might be difficult to get a job that was part-time. Well, I sort of see myself as semi-retired now, in that I probably work half, half the time. Um, when would I fully like to retire? I don't know, 70? I can see myself going on and on in this part-time way, picking and choosing what I want to do.